All right, the next function I want to look at graphing is going to be g of x is equal to, let's try 3 fifths x times, I didn't want to write it like that. Uh, g of x is equal to 3 fifths x uh, plus uh, 2, we'll say. So, from our previous notes, we again want to be strategic about what values we pick so we get nice whole number um, values for my, for my table here. So, g of x. So, we know 0 will obliterate the fraction. 3 over 5 times uh, 0 will not be a fraction. We'll be able to add 2 to that, no problem. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, autofocus, there we go. Um, what else? Well. Our fraction here has a, has a denominator of 5, so eventually whatever I plug in here is going to have to be divided by 5. So I want to choose things that can be divided by 5. What things can be divided by 5, then, is the question. Do me a favor, pause the video, and actually write down your guess. It's okay if it's wrong and you have to erase it, but write down what values you think should go in this table. All right, welcome back from that pause. Um, hey, here's an obvious one. 5 could go in that table because 5 can be divided by 5. You know what else could go in that table? Negative 5. Because negative 5 can be divided by 5. So can 10 and negative 10, 15 and negative 15. Right? Any of those values, because they have a, a factor of 5 in them, they will all divide nicely by 5. So now it's just a matter then of finding my g of x values. So g of 0 would just be 3 fifths times 0 plus 2. Hopefully you could see what was going to happen here. 3 fifths times 0 is 0. We just have 2. Pew! Zoop, zoop. G of 5 is going to be 3 fifths times 5 plus 2. The 5s will divide out. 5 divided by 5. So we've replaced those uh, both with 1s because that's an equivalent fraction. And we would have 3 plus 2, which is 5. That's just kind of a handy coincidence. Um, let's check the next number we have here. How about negative 5? g of negative 5 uh, is equal to 3 over 5 times negative 5 plus 2. So I've got the 5s will divide out, but I'll still have a negative there, right? So this would be uh, negative 5 over 5 is the same thing as negative 1 over 1. So it would be 3 times negative 1, which would be negative 3 plus 2, which would be negative 1. So we've got g of negative 5 is equal to negative 1. Now, I could also plug in 10 and negative 10, but uh, I really kind of would prefer to be able to use a scale of 1 here. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, because of the size of, of the little graph that we have in this worksheet, if I use 10 and negative 10, I would have to choose a different scale. Maybe I could count by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and whatnot. Um, but I've already got three values, so that should be good enough for me to graph this line. Let's go ahead and plot those values and sketch our function here. So we've got 0, 2. When the input is 5, the output is 5. And when the input is negative 5, the output is negative 1. Now, if we've done everything right here, this should be linear. Uh, and look at that, it is.